I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This information is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is a quick video. It's a quick take. Uh, we'll be looking at predicting oil land, oil land sales deals. And um, we're essentially we'll be back testing the roller pigeons method against some uh, against a deal that took place in September. So this is the roller pit the roller pigeons video channel. Uh, check it out. Yeah, she's got some really cool information. Um, so uh, her last video is how long will it take MMTLP and TRCDH. Basically, it's asking how long will the um, MMTLP dividend take? Has has the land been sold? When can we expect to get the dividends, etc.? Long story short, um, nobody can tell you because that would be inside information. But it can happen much quicker than you think. Okay, so um, don't be surprised. It, it uh, you know, the um, the uh, what was it? Um, Meta Materials officially announced in their form 10Q that they would um, try to get this deal done essentially by uh, I believe it was December 28th of this year. So. Um, and it is now November 2, so um, so although time looks to be running out, these things can happen faster than you think. So anyway, um, she goes over the ConocoPhillips transactions in this video, which is as a comparable, and uh, she goes over how, how long that transaction took with dates and various other things. The ConocoPhillips transaction is really interesting because it took place very very recently and it's a, it's a good comparable. It's something you should check out the video just to find out how this Conoco, how the ConocoPhillips transaction happens and, and I mean even just getting the slides for the ConocoPhillips transaction that's that's awesome. Uh, anyway, um, definitely check it out. It's awesome. And uh, but at the end of the video she does ask uh, one question I think directed towards me to see if I could back test um, the roller pigeons method uh, against the Conoco Phillips transactions. So, um, for those who don't know, um, I in my last video uh, made a spreadsheet based upon her video of how to calculate what the the dividend estimate would be, right? And I just basically just took her video and went line item by line item and did the calculations both the medium side and low side. Um, I'm not going to go over how that spreadsheet works in detail. If you want, you can check out the YouTube video, which uh, is shown here. It's called MMAT Update dash FB Meta and Estimating slash Calculating MMTLP Dividends. So um, that's going to have details of how this spreadsheet works, but uh, so this is going to be a quick video. Okay. Essentially, Conic for those who don't know, Conoco Phillips bought some oil land in September, and they announced it. Uh, uh, September twenty one is when the the news came out, I guess, or at least in the press. That's when I found out about it. It was a nine and a half billion dollar deal, and they got two hundred twenty five thousand acres in the Permian Basin. Um, in the press release and in the slides, they show that there's, they don't give you the amount of oil that they got, but they do tell you what the production is. And the production, they state, is 200,000 barrels per day of production. Um, so I took that to try to figure out what, how much oil that actually involved. So 200,000 barrels a day. I did two calculations. Um, Essentially, I took 200,000 barrels a day, multiplied by 365 days a year. That gives you 73 million barrels. Take those 73 million barrels and spread them out over 25 years. Assume you get 25 years of production. And you get about 1.8 billion barrels of oil. So that's what this, so I believe that's what this, um, this deal represents. Um, if they pump less oil, I mean, meaning if they only operate Monday through Friday, they'll be operating for two. 260 days a year as opposed to 365, which means you get 52 million barrels of oil a year. And again, if you operate that across 25 years, it's 1.3 billion barrels. 
For now, let's use 1.8 billion barrels of production as the uh, as a basis. Let's also look at the price of oil during that time of that deal. I'm gonna set, since it took place, it was announced end of uh, September or so, so it was actually being negotiated beforehand. Let's go back about a month or so. I'm gonna say that's about sixty-nine dollars a barrel. Um, sometimes it was a little bit higher, sometimes it was a little lower. I'm just gonna pick the sixty-nine as, as a nice middle number. Okay. So, uh, so there's that. So this is the actual calculation, and we're gonna. Um, this is the metamaterials torchlight preferred shares dividend calculation, and we're gonna. Back test this against ConocoPhillips data. Okay, so how do we do, how do we do that? First, we strip away the unneeded information, and uh, we're going to strip away uh, any information having to do with dividends and uh, and low side low side estimates. Again, we don't even again we don't need dividends or 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 uh, medium side estimates. Well, all we really care about is the the um, the dollar value of oil in the ground. Okay, so that makes a, the calculation much much simpler. And let's uh, let's plug in some, some numbers. First number that we're going to change is the revenue interest. So previously we had the torchlight revenue interest, which was forty nine percent. We're going to make that one hundred percent of Shell Oil's interest, right? So they're buying this from Shell Oil, from Royal Dutch Shell, and they're let's let's assume that they're getting 100% interest, okay? Next number we're going to plug in is the price of oil, $69 per barrel, okay? And finally, the last number we're going to plug in is the barrels of oil, which is 1.8 billion barrels. Plug all those numbers in, and voila, magically you wind up with $9.5 billion, which corresponds to the $9.5 billion of production I mean, $9.5 billion that ConocoPhillips had announced. Oh, magic. So, with that, I'm going to say congratulations, ro uh, Roller Pigeons. Your, um, your method works. Uh, it backtests excellently against ConocoPhillips. I didn't really expect it to backtest this well. I figured we'd be somewhere around, uh, I don't know, $9 billion or $10 billion mark. But uh, this is pretty good. This is better than I expected. <laughs> so, congratulations. Uh, and that's the end of the video. So again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This information is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. And with that, um, goodbye.